and the game, you're kind of shaking out your wrist and flexing it. Is there anything going on there? Uh, nah. Just fell on it the other day. It's all right. Jared Weiss. In game three, they were forcing you to take a lot of shots cut earlier in your drive, and it seems the last few games you've been able to get, get both being said, get to your moves and get to your looks. What has changed for you? How have you been able to find that rhythm attacking? Um, just being more patient. Um, figuring out what works, what doesn't. Watching the film from the previous games, just trying to build upon that. Davide Ginolato. Hey Jason, uh, what impressed you the most about your victory tonight? Um, just how we started. Um, we, we started off, I think we competed really, really hard on both ends. Um, we were just really connected. It helped that we hit some shots. Um, you know, got guys feeling good about themselves, and uh, we just continued to build on that um, throughout the game. John Corrales. Hey, Jason, uh, there was a stretch there in the second quarter where it looked like Toronto might have made a run, but Brad Wanamaker was actually uh, hit a couple of shots. Uh, what did you see out of, out of Brad's performance, and, you know, getting, a, getting a, that kind of performance off the bench? Um, he was in the right spots, and, uh, you know, he, he was just ready to shoot and hit some big shots today. Um, and it's the playoffs, um, you know, Different nights is going to be different guys, maybe unexpected guys off the bench, and uh, to give you that spark, that extra boost, um, you know, that you, you may need. And you know, Brad played great tonight. Um, you know, we're going to need him. Sharon Blakely. Yeah, Jason, you had touched on this early about just getting off to a really good start. Guys are making shots, but I wanted to talk to you about the way you guys defended uh, out the gate to me. They shot 20% from the field, 11% from three-point range. I mean, that's some, you know, upper echelon defense right now. What was the key to you guys as a group being so successful out the gates at that end of the floor? Um, I mean, like you said, just coming out, you know, following the game plan and knowing, um, you know, not to wait. You know, just attack first on both ends and um, just be aggressive. And I think that's what we did. Um, I mean, obviously we had a few mistakes, but for the most part we, we, we competed. Um, for the full 48, um, and you know that's what it's going to take if you want to you want to win in the playoffs. Abby Chin. Jason, sidebar, uh, you had Lou Brock on your shoes tonight. What did he mean to you personally? Um, obviously, everybody knows he played for the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, one of the best players ever in MLB. One of the best players to play for the Cardinals. Um, I'm 22. I never got to see him play, but I know what he means to that organization and to the city of St. Louis. Um, and I had the the, the Cardinal uh, Jordan 34s that I designed. I had those on the day, and unfortunately, he passed away yesterday. So, um, just wanted to shed some light on that um, to all the people back home. Brian Rob. Is uh, Larry giving you guys all sorts of trouble the last couple of games, but you guys held them to 10 points like like Lee. Um, how much of a focus is that for you guys going in? What, uh, what do you think were the keys there? Um, I mean, Kyle, uh, Kyle's a great player. We know that. And, and just try to make it tough on him. You know, sometimes they're going to have tough shooting nights. Um, you know, you just don't want to give them easy looks, um, defend as well as we can, talk. Um, I think that's what we did tonight. I mean, he probably missed some shots and felt like you know should have went in, but um, it's basketball. You just had a tough day sometimes. Final question for Jason Sharon Blakely. Yeah, Jason. After uh, last game, Kimba Walker had talked about uh, wanting to be more aggressive. Uh, nine shots for him was unacceptable. I wanted to ask you about Kimba's ability to to be. Assertive, be aggressive, but do so within the framework of the team and him not becoming just a guy after chucking shots. And now he's been able to balance that throughout the season for you guys. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's been great at that all season. Um, you know, you're right. Nine shots is unacceptable for him, you know, for us as a team. Um, you know, he we needed to be aware of that last game and we weren't. 
and uh, this game we were. And uh, I mean, he he got a great IQ. He know the game. He know uh, when to make the right play, when to score. Um, but you know, we need him to be aggressive, like he was tonight, um, and continue that if we want to keep playing. All right, one last question uh, in person, Gary Washburn. Jason, um, you guys can talk the last couple of days about being focused and playing harder and all that. But when you guys do it, you know, when you go out there and carry it out. How satisf- satisfying is that? What does that show? What you guys have learned over the last couple of playoff disappointments and uh, playoffs, every series seems to be a roller coaster of emotion. I mean, um, it, it's a good feeling when you can game plan, talk about something, and then go out there and do it. But it also, uh, it's frustrating, you know, that we, if we can do it, you know, why don't we do it every time? Some of it's human nature, um, but us as professionals, uh, you know, we just got to take more responsibility. Um, it's, it's not an easy task. You know, they def- defend the champs. Um, just the playoffs is going to be tough. Um, But if you want to keep playing more often than not, um, you got to go out there.